Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. So I've been making videos on this channel for over 7 years now, and in all that time I've made literally hundreds of tutorials. However, naturally in the time since then Unity has changed quite a bit, so if you try loading the project files for some of these older videos you might see some errors. Now for me, since I have my knowledge, these errors aren't really an issue. Usually it's pretty simple to fix and make it work on the latest version. It's usually just pretty minor things, the actual code and tutorials that one actually still works. But a beginner doesn't really know what I know. They really just see these errors, like for example, type or namespace scene machine not found, and they have no idea how to solve them. Whereas of course, now I know, really just install the scene machine package and that's it. Or there's errors about LWRP not being found. I know this related to the fact that Unity previously used to have something called the lightweight run pipeline, but now it is simply called URP. So basically the namespace is now different, that's really it. So even though most of the code still works nowadays, these minor things, they can really hurt the beginner. So because of that, I've done two things. First, I've updated the project files to use the latest Unity LTS version, 6.3. And secondly, now it includes the complete project files. It is not just the .tnt package file. Nope, it includes the complete project, meaning it has everything like all dependencies, all the packages, all of them installed, all of them the correct version. So basically, as soon as you open the project files, you literally just open the main scene, then you hit on play, and if there you go, here it is, everything works. For example, this top-down shooter that I made, I made this one in 2019, so that was six years ago. And this one required quite a few changes to make it work nowadays. I basically need to update the shaders, I need to update the render pipeline stuff, I had to upgrade from the input manager onto the input system, so I had to do all that stuff. But now you can literally just download those project files, this comes in a .zip file, then you can just unpack this somewhere, and then on Unity Hub, just go ahead, add a project from the disk, then just select that folder, open it, and as soon as you do, if you don't yet have the exact same Unity version that I used installed, then you'll see a window telling you to install that same specific version. So just go ahead and do that, then you can just open up the project, and again, like I said, you got a full complete project, just hit on play, and if there you go, here is the project fully working in Unity 6.3, everything works, everything's nice. And of course, like I said, this contains the entire project, so over here you can find all the scripts, everything that was made, everything that I talked about in the tutorial. So you can go ahead, play the game for a little bit, then you can inspect the code in order to learn how it all works. I've also made a dedicated page on my website, this one lists basically all of the videos, all of the projects that have the updated project files. So for example, if you just found my channel recently, you might not know about some of these very interesting ones. Which again, now they're all been updated, so you can easily just download those and go ahead and use them right away. For example, this nice one on how to do a liquid simulation in Unity. Yep, you can download project files, just hit on play and try to see how this all works. Or this nice tutorial over here on how to make a nice crafting system just like Minecraft, but using scribble objects. If you're working on a 2D game, then you can download project files for this tutorial that shows you how to aim a weapon towards the mouse. If you're playing Hades and you want to know how exactly to make this same kind of transition effect, if so, then you can find this tutorial and you can download project files. One of my favorite tutorials that I've ever done is this one on the NPC interaction system. This is a very first style system, and again, you can just download and see how it all works. For something more fun and intense, you can definitely see the fun mini game that I did back when Squid Game was very popular. Or the spaceship constructed system, yep, this was another fun one to make. You can check out my nice grid building system, or learn how to make a nice RPG radar chart. So yep, you can see the link in the description to go to this page. Over here, you can go through all of these, you can browse around. All of these have been updated to 6.3, so you'll literally just download them, import them, open it, and everything works. And of course, you can watch the video tutorials behind them to learn how it all works. Now, in reality, I've actually made hundreds of tutorials. I think in total, I've got about 200 project files. And right now, I've been working on upgrading all of these 6.3. But the process is quite a bit manual, so over here I've only updated about 56 of them. So over the coming weeks and months, I will be updating the remaining ones. Alright, so I really hope these project files help you a lot in your learning journey. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.